I only have one thing to say. They're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating... Honestly, I was not going to review this film for lots of different reasons. Then I heard who was directing it, Ali Abbasi. If you don't know who he is, previously he directed one of the best finales for HBO, The Last of Us. Actually, he directed the final two episodes to season one. And for the people who wanna know exactly why is this movie being made, what is the purpose of this, why should I talk when the director can say for himself? This is not a Trump movie. You know, it's a story of how young Donald Trump was formed with, you know, with help of his mentor, Roy Cohn. But it's also a story of a system, the inherent corruption in a system that allows people, uh, allowed people as Roy Cohn to navigate freely and, and sort of pull the levers of power as they see fit. Mm -hmm. The interview goes on to say how he got this project and specifically the people behind it wanted somebody's perspective, an outsider's perspective. Ali is from Iran and the whole point of this is to give you a perspective from someone who doesn't support blue or red. This movie the movie starts out with an absurd dynamic between Donald Trump, played amazingly by Sebastian Stan, and also you have Jeremy Strong playing Roy Cohn, one of the worst human beings, like, ever. And you're just seeing this whole perspective of a young, kind of naive Trump trying to rise to the top. He doesn't necessarily know how to do that, and with that you get this really crazy dynamic of a really popular lawyer showing Trump how to do business in New York City and doing it in brutal fashion. Roy becoming a mentor, Trump is both captivated and repulsed by all of his behavior, but he somehow wants to do the same exact thing that he does. So you have that perspective, but then you also have the other side when he goes home, where he feels like a shadow behind his father's much larger shadow. At its core, The Apprentice isn't just a biopic about Trump, but rather a study on how power and corruption can shape an individual. One of Roy Kahn's mottos is, even when you lose, you never admit defeat, becomes the backbone of Trump's worldview. Through the direction of Ali, definitely showcases that motto all throughout Trump's life that's at least shown in this depiction of history. Sebastian Stan's portrayal of Trump is this subtlety which reveals slight insecurities of a man whose narcissism is a shield for his deep, deep vulnerability. This man has a lot of issues and it's clearly fully on display when people are trying to poke at him and pry at him and he retaliates through either vulgar language, him saying that he's better than everyone, or abuse. Another standout is Maria, who plays Ivana Trump to a great T. She brings charm and a surprising complexity to a role that could have easily been sidelined. She's more so known for her role in Borat 2, which if you haven't seen, that movie is hilarious. And it kind of makes sense when you start to actually look at that film, why she would definitely be interested in a project about Trump. I'm living in a fairy tale. Right. You're gonna do great, okay? But back to the film, their relationship, Trump and Ivana, is marked by ambition, yet the film makes it clear that beneath all this glamour, there's a transaction through their relationship where he gets what he gets and she gets what she gets, but also there's a humanity to it, mainly on Ivana's side, because if you know anything about their past relationship and how it all went down, it's kind of horrifying. And another thing the director does an incredible job of showcasing to us, the audience, is the corruption within the city of New York. It's like its own ecosystem. Everything that is connected has some form of going back and stabbing that person in more ways than one. Overall, The Apprentice is a movie that shows what happens to men who think their own lies are the truth. Seven out of 10. By the way, this is just a movie review. This in no way reflects my personal political views. I know it's a little bit of an intense time. We got election coming up in less than a month, I believe. Yeah, just a movie review. We'll leave it at that. If you wanna make your assumptions, this is a free country. Just a movie review, baby. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this review. It really means a lot. Please do not forget to like and subscribe, but most importantly, do not forget to be blessed.